Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to this Sunday service. I'm Kalani, and um, today we're talking all about risk taking and uh, the many benefits that you can uh, receive by taking chances, taking risks, and doing things that uh, put you a little bit outside of your comfort zone, uh, as sometimes it's called. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the instruments later. I just took a lot of risks for you guys <laughs> to bring you some, some music. I hope you uh, appreciated that. I'll talk about what I did a little bit later. But, um, but this is about uh, music mindfulness. What can we learn from music that can inform our mindfulness practice? Because, uh, you know, as I've said before, my philosophy and thinking is that as a musician... I've been practicing mindfulness, and I practice mindfulness uh, through the music practice as a musician. Lots of things we do as musicians align with, and actually, I think, lead um, the mindfulness practice, um, as well as support it. But directly, a lot of the things that we do in music, as a musician, like deep listening, paying attention, remaining non-judgmental. Uh, through impro improvisation and acceptance, um, taking risks, which puts us in a flow state often, puts us in the moment, uh, puts us in a very open, exciting space to be in. And that's what I want for you. I want you to live in a way that is exciting and fulfilling. And, um, and the, one of the ways that, that you can do that is by taking risks. And so what does that mean exactly? It means doing something that you haven't done before, doing something you have done in a different way, uh, just pushing your boundaries so that you're on the edge of your capabilities. And where, what, what does that edge, what does that, you know, fade into the unknown? You know, we can see the landscape and at some point it sort of fades into darkness, right? It fades into, I can't see what's up there. I want to see, I want to know what's coming, but I can't really quite see it. Well, what does that do? It, it's exciting. It pulls you into an, uh, something new. So there's a, there's a novelty uh, to it, uh, an unknown. And what you do is you use your existing skills. You use what you have available and you improvise and you go places you haven't been before. And that's exciting. And so you're kind of an explorer. You're an inventor. You are a reinventor. Um, and you're honing your skills, you're improving your skills, uh, you're, you're mastering some of your older skills, and you're acquiring new skills in the moment as you need them. And you're, you know, so you're very much activated uh, in terms of your senses. And I've talked a lot about why we need to use our senses. You're using your mind, your whole mind, uh, which we do all the time, you guys left and right brain thing, uh, we need to move beyond that. <laughs> it's, just not, it's really not valid in a lot of ways. Uh, but what, if you want to use left, right, that's fine, but it's just not necessary. Uh, we, use our, we use our brain, and, and it's exciting. And we create the world uh, as we live it, you know, as we, as we walk the path, we create it. So I think it's super exciting. If any of you would like to look into flow state, uh, there's a book called Flow. I've written about flow state music making, and uh, you can you can research that yourself. It's basically just putting yourself on the edge where of your capabilities. So so your ch the challenges that you're taking on are balanced with your skills uh, and all, all kinds of different skills: your listening skills, your creativity skills, your technical skills, and that. Um, environment where you're able to meet, you know, a lot of the challenge, but some of the challenge is new. So you're figuring out, you know, you're figuring it out. You're not entirely comfortable. You can't completely just kick back and relax. You need to be alert. You need to be uh, aware. You need to be creating. You need to be problem solving. You need to be uh, working you know, with what you have. And, and so that's a very 
exciting place to be as a, as a human, as a person. I think a lot of you um, can relate to that, whether you know it's a hobby you have, maybe it's a sport or a hobby. It could be a craft, uh, it could be an art form like music. I think of music as all of those things actually. In some ways it's like a sport because it's physical. It is like a hobby because it's something we can do just as a pastime for our own enjoyment. It is a art form because it can be developed and performed and presented uh, to others. It can be recorded, it can be done live. You know, there's a lot of aspects to music making, which is one reason I think it's a great place to explore and practice mindfulness. Uh, some of the things that we focus on in music mindfulness are um, managing our thoughts, keeping an unbiased perspective, and that has to do with risk taking. Uh, having a sensational experience, meaning a sensation-based experience, which is, which is what music is. Um, also identifying our values, like risk-taking, being in the moment, wanting to be creative, wanting to be uh, plugged into life, and then creating, based on those, uh, ex based on those values, creating experiences that, that reflect and support our values. And so one of my values that I have is creativity. I want to be creative. I want to feel like I'm bringing more to the world than exists here already. I'm not just a consumer. I am a creator, uh, not only of things you know for other people, but for myself. I want to create opportunities that help me feel uh, satisfied, that help me feel like I have some agency and volition, you know, to shape the world in which I live and, you know, shape the world, shape my world experience, if you will, right? So my world, my experience of life is partially about me, uh, my thoughts, who, you know, who I am, and it's partially about what kinds of things I experience in the world. In other words, what do I do? Every day I wake up, I do stuff. Right, so so my life is made up of all of those moments, of uh, my waking moments. Sometimes my you could say your dreaming moments, but you know largely the things we have control over and that we shape are of course our waking hours. Uh, what do I want to do in my life? I want to do music. I want to play. I want to create. I want to build. I want to fix things. I want to create art. I want to you know experience all of the se the sensational things of life, um, the sounds, the sights, the smells, the, the, the textures, you know, all of it, uh, every day as much as I can. And then um, adding all that up, you know, is, is just great. That's, that's your, your life experience. So uh, remember that, you know, life is not entirely what you think. Uh, we often as humans get caught up in our thoughts and we can ruminate and we can think that we can think our way out of, you know, experiences or out of um, situations. But, but really, uh, it's what you do and it's how you act and how you behave and what you create that I think shape our life experience more than just thinking about it. So uh, just keep that in mind. It's, it's fine to think, but we don't want to get caught too much in, you know, just a thinking loop. And, and think that we can think our way out of a situation. Um, action is much more powerful, much more potent, and much more important. Um, so that's my message for you today, is just take risks, put yourself out there on the edge, um, how, whatever that looks like for you. It could be a physical, you know, if you're somebody who's athletic and more physically oriented, it could be creative uh, creativity, um, it could be a a puzzle problem solving thing. Um, but whatever it is, I hope it, it challenges you appropriately uh, and you feel energized and you feel like you're in the game. Um, if you study flow, one of the things that you will find out is that you need to manage the levels of challenge because if you are over challenged, and this came from an article called Flow State Music Making or Flow State in, in Children Making Music. Um, and it was a study, uh, and what they discovered is if the challenge is too, is too high, then the, the person is probably going to disengage because they're not getting enough payout. They're not getting enough um, payback, you know, for their efforts. If you, and you can think about things that maybe you've done in your past. If you were playing a game and you were really losing big time, you probably just want to walk away, right? You say, this isn't fun. I'm not having fun. 
uh, or if you're trying something and you're just not getting, you know, those those um, those wins, you're not getting a few wins in there. Uh, you're not going to play because it's, you're being over challenged, uh, and nobody likes that, right? It doesn't feel good. Uh, on the other side, uh, you don't want to be under challenged too much because if you're under challenged, it's going to be boring. You're going to feel like, well, I, you know, this is so rudimentary. There's nothing surprising about it. There's nothing that's pushing me. I'm not feeling creative because I can do all this. It's too easy. It's too boring. I'm bored, you know. So you need to find something that has the right amount of challenge. And you need to, in the moment, you need to also balance the level of challenge when you're trying something. So what I was doing here is I was trying something new for me, which was using the looper in a different way. I was playing a scale that's a little bit tricky for me to play on the Native American style flute. I was playing what they call the, the gypsy scale. Um, it sounds like this. And that is an exotic scale. It's, it's a scale that's sometimes associated with, um, with uh, Arabic music, Arab music, or what we call Middle Eastern music. Uh, I was also playing some, you know, different weird chords on the ukulele. I was, uh, yeah, just trying to rapid fire a lot of things. And then I'm, you know, controlling a lot of levels and effects and things over here. So I was trying to push myself to do something new and take some chances, uh, something novel, um, and, you know, and do it live, <laughs> live streaming. Not only live looping, but live looping and live streaming and doing the Sunday service for you all. Um, so that's taking on a lot, I think. And um, I feel pretty good about the way it went so far, but it's not really important how I feel about it after the fact. What, what's important to me is how I feel in the moment. Um, creating and doing it and and for me that's very exciting so i hope you can find something like that it doesn't have to be this of course it could be playing with friends playing for people maybe push yourself take a chance put yourself out there you know learn a song or learn a rhythm and or join a, a group uh, a band or get an instrument that you've been wanting to play and just leap in and trust that everything's gonna be fine and you have what it takes and you're on your own path and you'll take the, as much time as you need to do what you wanna do. But do something that's novel uh, and you know, without planning too much. Planning is, in, in many ways, the um, creativity killer, you know, over planning. And we talk about that in mindfulness. People talk about planning a lot as, as kind of a, a way to be unmindful, right? It's too much planning, because planning is thinking. Planning is thinking, it's imagining, you know, what's gonna happen, what am I gonna do? I wanna do this, then I wanna do that, and then I'm gonna do this. The problem with that, um, and it's certainly fine to have a plan. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a plan, but planning a lot means you're thinking and thinking and thinking about the plan. And then often when things uh, happen, when your plan, you know, when the time comes, and then things don't match your plan, then you can feel like something went wrong. And that's actually not true um, because the plan is one thing and then what happens is another thing and both are okay. But when you try to cram reality into a plan and then you get upset, that's not, that's not healthy. It's not realistic either. So don't do that. Uh, you can have a plan, fine. But once you start, uh, whatever happens, happens and you're gonna change, your plans can change, and you have a new plan. All right, so plans need to be updated. Uh, when we try to force uh, what's happening into our plan, then we can end up with a lot of unmet expectations, uh, a lot of frustration, and that can even turn into anger or sadness or feelings that we may not wanna have. So don't do that to yourself. Uh, you don't have to do that ever. Um, you can just try to do your best and accept what accept what life brings uh, in the moment and uh, look at any challenge like an opportunity to be creative, to improvise, to do something different, to take a chance uh, and take a risk and get on, get on the edge of life. And the view from the edge is much better than the view from a safe distance away from the edge. Because <laughs> um, you'll see things you haven't seen and you can look in all directions and, and find new things to do. So, um, 
I'm gonna play a little bit more music. I'm gonna slow it down a little, and um, today I'm playing the uh, Glockenspiel or bells. I have these this set of bells here from Parapol, um, and then I have an ukulele also from Parapol. I'm playing a. Uh, I had the shaker in there. I have this thing, which is I don't even know what this is called. It's just filled with stuff. Um, I have a little little kashishi rattle. I've got my Native American style flute. This is uh, this flute is a G flute uh, by Blue Star, and then I have a bendir made by Cooperman fife and drum, bendir frame drum, and uh, here we go. Oh, and I have some bongos over here that I also use. So I hope you like this. I uh, hope you like the music today and the message. If you do. Be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, you can connect with me more at KalaniMusic.com. Of course, World Drum Club and the Music Mindfulness is a community service of Kalani Music. You can find out more about the mindfulness practice and mindfulness teachings at KalaniDas.com. Also, the Evolve podcast on iTunes. You can download that. Uh, there's several episodes, about 20 episodes over there um, that you can listen to, and we appreciate your support. And if you like this, uh, go ahead and forward it to somebody who you think could use this kind of messaging and resource to help themselves uh, do what they want to do, feel how they want to feel in life. Um, and uh, this is a gift, so I'm giving this to you. Please give it away as much as you feel appropriate. And I want to thank you all for dropping in today. I'm going to make some more music, and I'll see you next time uh, in music mindfulness. So I'm going to reset my looper here and erase everything so I can start over. And we'll go, let's go a little bit slower this time. And we'll see what happens.
Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Music Mindfulness. Today we talked about risk-taking and uh, plugging into the flow of life by putting yourself out there on the edge of your abilities, your edge of your comfort zone, and pushing into new boundaries uh, because it's exciting, because it's sensational, puts you in the moment, puts you into a flow state. So go out there and get it, you guys. Do something new. Have a wonderful weekend, week. I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.